Hey guys, back to a quick little tour overview of this 2014 Chevy Impala 2LT. So this is the mid-level trim, decently equipped. Coming over to the window sticker, you do have the 3.6 liter V6, which uh, moves the car along great. Window sticker is 33 grand, and feel free to pause it if you can read that. I'm not really going to spend much time on that. No sunroof. You do have this um, really nice blue exterior color, which I do like, and the classic Impala right there. Push that to open. You have 18 inch alloy wheels on these Firestone tires, which are pretty beefy. And uh, this is just so much nicer than the previous generation Impala. I wouldn't actually buy one of these, but um, yet again, it's still pretty nice. You don't have exhaust outlets right there, it's probably under there, but versus that one, I think it has the 2 liter Eagle, or turbo. No, yeah, 2.5 liter turbo. Coming on to this one, you do have a um, half suede, half leather interior with this um, pretty different blue stitching, which I actually like the color combinations. I like it quite a bit. It's actually uh, pretty cool. But uh, coming on in, I do sink in the seat because somebody has this thing really low. But you do have this Mercedes-like steering wheel, which is really nice. Really, really nice. It is thick and bolstered. You have your really nice gauges. I don't know how I feel about this, though. I mean, it could probably be pretty hard to clean when it gets dusty. I mean, just look at all the multi-steps up here. I don't like it. But it is leather padded, or full leather, at least. You have Chevy's My Link. With, um... I mean, I do give them credit, though. This is a lot nicer than the previous gen, so can't fault them too much. It's a pretty easy system to work. You just gotta play with it for a little bit. You do have full wood trim down here, which is pretty decent. Six-speed automatic transmission with your little toggle switches up here, which I don't get that. Heated seats. Back, ass and back. Trash control. Cup holders. And your other stitched center console. I thought it was dual storage, but you do have a little tray right here. And pretty deep and lighted down there. Again, this is real. I really like the blue stitching they use. I mean, it's different. Um, I really like it. And you have really good thigh support. This actually does uh, make for good thigh support. And the glove box is damped. Really nice. And it's lighted. It's not very big, though. More padded. Everything is padded. Everything you see is padded. Lighted vanity mirror. And this headliner is the same thing as they've been using for uh, probably six or seven years. OnStar and all that jazz up there. Um, what else? That's about it for the front. I don't want to go too into in detail. Dual zone climate control through a little, and I just peeled it off, put it back on. Automatic climate control and all that stuff. Automatic headlights, typical GM fashion. Projector beam with LED runners. Coming over here, you do have all soft touch. Everything is soft. This, 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 and this is hard. Scratchy GM. Typical. Automatic parking brake release and all your sensors and storage down here. And it is put lined, which is really nice. And it is locked, obviously. And uh, this is a really nice car, but um, with all the recalls GM has been getting, that's just enough to put me away from one of these. Coming back here, you have the same blue stitching, which is pretty cool looking. Your headrests, which do tumble apparently. I don't know how to get it up. But you have, uh, looks like you have really good seat room, and I was comfortable up front. And I have just an enormous amount of leg room and dual mat pockets and. Air, air vents down here, storage tray, and a big, bigger hump. Um, thigh support is not the best, as you can see. But foot room is just beautiful. Like, that's the best. Probably best in class. Coming over here, you do have the same materials as front. Everything is soft. And um, you have a really high roof with LED lights up here. You do have center console with cup holders. And you have pretty beefy headrests, which are like robotic almost. But well, you have a pretty big uh, tray back there, which is hollow as hell. And those just tilt like that, and uh, oh, I guess you just push them down to get them back up. There you go, and they just go up with authority. But um, here's your front, and I'm really impressed with this. All four oh shit handles, and uh, yet again, I really like this piping and stitching they used. So, pretty nice. I don't know if the trunk will pop from back here, but if it does, no it doesn't. Expect it to be around the same size as the Taurus. As you can see, all that's probably utilized by the trunk. Projector headlights, and I was wrong, no LED runners. Probably on the loaded one like that one, yeah, like right down there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and talk to y'all later.